So let's take a look inside the rack itself and you can see here that on the sampler we've got a sample and this is called free space because it's actually something that I created using operator and that was using four oscillators at maximum to create a nice bright and energetic FM sound. That's been dropped onto the keyboard and you can see the root note here is C3. It's running through the filter and I've selected the morphing filter, the 24 dB per octave one with a little bit of resonance on there. The frequency chosen is 1.84K. The morphing setting is basically 44 HP notch. I decided on that just by playing around, having a listen, see what I thought sounded good. And then also the modulation here, we've got LFO rooted onto filter morph here. So LFO 2 and 3, you can actually select the destinations here yourselves, whereas LFO 1, you've got four choices. So that's the reason why I selected LFO 2. The amount I'm using is the maximum amount here, and you can see I've got tempo synchronization for the rate of the LFO and four beats set. So after that, we've got the auto filter. You can see the two macro controls that have been mapped. We've got the amount control here and then the rate here. So these are mapped over here on the left and the right. And then an EQ because I felt the FM sound itself was a little bit too much high frequency energy up here. So I rolled that down. Compressor just to balance the level out. EQ3 here rolling off frequencies at 180 hertz to reduce the low frequency energy because I've got on this track a kick and a sub. And on here the reverb, the dry wet mix. So that's being controlled by the macro. And the settings here, the decay time 2.52 seconds, quality high, size 500, width 120. So I deliberately wanted to get a nice wide sound out of this. And the phase on the auto filter here is set to 74.3 to create some movement left and right as well. So that's what's going on. Let me just show you. I'm going to take away the elements so you can hear the sound in its raw state. So we take this off. Also taking off the LFO and the filter. So let's take the zone editor down solo. Have a listen to this. So that's the sample itself. The filter. We turn on the LFO too. So it's creating a nice Timbral change in the sound, the filter, additional filtering, EQ8, compressor, EQ3, and then the reverb. So that's what we did to create the rack. Let me just show you the original sound. So we're going to do insert MIDI track. Just drag this over here. Going to set this up with the operator. And I simply turned up oscillators two, three, and four to create a nice buzzy tone. And then that was transposed down even further. So that buzzy characteristic is what's being run through the filtering here. And in order to bring that through, I just right clicked, froze the track. Of course I had a MIDI clip as well. So this is the kind of thing that I did just extended it out. Right clicking on here, the freeze track. This is all stuff that you've seen already, of course. Flatten, and this is the audio file that was dragged onto the sampler to create the sound. So that's the rack, that's what's creating that nice flavor. Let's have a listen again and hear it in context. At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. 
DVR stands for Direct Video Response and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it and then pushes record on the screen capturing software and evaluates your work. So basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach it online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on the course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.